Hi, in this video we're going to highlight some of the things we really like about the Shark Navigator Lift Away Deluxe and this is model NV360. Now, what do you get when you buy your NV360? Well, it's a fairly basic machine, it doesn't come with a whole lot, but of course you get the upright itself, it has the uh, filters installed when you get the machine. You get a couple of tools. This is an upholstery tool. This is a small crevice tool. This is a tool clip. Tool clip will go here just below the handle and you can attach your tools to that. You also get a quick start guide and an owner's manual. We like that the filters are easy to access. They can all be rinsed in water and reused. So I'm just going to show you how to get at those filters. Um, first you want to take off the dust canister here. You've got a couple of clips on this side and one over here. Pull this thing off and away. Underneath that we have a foam filter. This is a pre-motor filter. This is also a pre-motor filter. This is a felt filter. These can both be rinsed in water when they are completely dry, typically 24 hours or so. You simply put them back in the machine and you're good to go with those filters. Now there's also a post-motor filter and it's a HEPA filter and it sits under this panel here. There's a clip Pull that up, remove the panel, and this is your post motor filter. Now, this guy's also rinsable in water, and again, like the pre motor filters, when it's dry, it just gets popped back in. And then you put this panel on. Uh, give me a sec here, there we are. Clips into place. Now, Shark says your pre motor filters you typically do once every three months or so. We have read somewhere that people are finding. Uh, at least some people are finding they have to do it a little more often. Um, and the post motor filter shark says about once, once a year. Now the dust canister goes back on. And we attach these clips here and there. So that's all there is to the filter maintenance. It's nice to see that the vacuum has a tool clip. You can see it right here. We've got the upholstery tool on top and the crevice tool on the bottom. I'll take them off. You can see that these things are just uh, stored kind of like by compression fit. They just push on. Now it's a really handy feature because if you are off vacuuming somewhere, you decide you want to use a tool, it's really nice just to have them here with you. You don't have to go back to the closet or cupboard where you would have had to store them if you didn't have a feature like this. We like that the vacuum has a suction release collar and that's this device right here. It's effectively some holes that you cover over to maximize suction and you open up to bleed off some suction. Now, why would you want to bleed suction off? Well, let's say that you're vacuuming on a certain surface and it's getting a little difficult to push the vacuum. Well, by opening up um, these holes and bleeding off suction, you should make it a little easier to move the vacuum. At least for some surfaces, that's the case. Now, another issue might be too much suction at the end of the uh, handle here. Let's say you're doing a delicate uh, set of curtains or something and you're finding there's too much suction, you might want to be able to dial that down so you don't do any potential damage to the material. You can do that by again moving this suction release collar. Now we did do a quick test with this vacuum gauge and we determined that with this suction release collar fully open, you'll reduce suction at the end of the tool here by you know 35 to 40 percent. It's not too bad. Now this is subjective, but we like that the vacuum has a fairly solid feel if we compare it to some of our other uprights that are in around the same price range and we've seen this guy for as low as about $150. We like that the vacuum has the lift away feature. Now you'll find some shark machines have this, while well, others don't. Now what that allows you to do is carry around this piece of the vacuum in one hand while well, you've got the hose wand and tools in the other hand. It's kind of like having a bit of a handheld vacuum. So how do you do that? First, let's just take the handle off. I'm not going to bother with the wand. I'm put the hand, uh, handle down here. The wand will just take off. It's actually a little bit clumsy to be honest. Um, we're going to remove the cleaner head. Push it there. So now let's take a tool like uh, maybe the crevice tool. Put it on the end of the handle. As you can see, you can carry around this lift away pod in one hand and use this with the other. You're tethered by the cord, but it still gives you a fair bit of reach. It's great for doing, well, it's for doing things like vehicle interiors maybe, getting into cupboards and closets, and frankly getting into areas that you can't get with an upright. So, handy feature. 
We like that the NV360 has brush roll on off controls. Now it allows you to turn the brush roll on. For example, if you're doing carpet, you can turn the brush roll off completely off if you're doing a bare surface. Now some machines don't allow you to do that and the brush roll continues to spin on your bare surface and that can cause some scatter. It doesn't always, but it sometimes does. And um, if you have particularly delicate flooring, you may not want a brush roll spinning on your bare floor. Now here is a red switch on the NV360 and it has three settings, brush roll on, bare floor, which turns the brush roll off, and off, and that turns the vacuum off. We did a carpet cleaning test on this low pile carpet here. Now, we created our own debris, which we consider small to medium sized debris. We've got it here. Now, this consists of chili flakes, flax seeds, green peas, and lentils. It was mixed up and placed in about a five foot long line. The vacuum was uh, passed forward and backwards over this line, and we determined the percentage of pickup. Now, we did this with three vacuums here, just to get some comparison. The vacuum at the end is the Shark Pet Pro ZU62. This is the Shark Navigator ZU561. They are a little bit more expensive than the NV360. We'll show you that test. In that last test, the Navigator NV360 picked up 99.7% of the debris, the Pet Pro ZU62 99.5%, and the Navigator ZU561 99.1%. I think you can see from the numbers that all of the vacuums performed fairly well with over 99% pickup. I don't think you can read much into the small differentiation in pickup between the units, but what you can see is that the NV360 performed every bit as well as these two vacuums over here. We did a noise level test using this digital noise level meter. We measured peak decibels over about a 10 second period. Now, the uh, vacuums were turned on and the brush rolls were turned on. This unit was about three feet in front of the cleaner head of each machine. Now, we measured the uh, peak decibels of these five vacuums, the NV360, the ZU561, the uh, ZU62, the NV752, and at the very end, the Dyson Ball Animal 2. So, let's take a look at those. You can see that the NV360 sits in the middle of the tested vacuum cleaners. It's not particularly quiet, but nor is it too loud. Uh, the quietest vacuum we tested was the ZU62 at 74.7 decibels, and the loudest was the Dyson Ball Animal 2 at 78.7. The NV360, somewhere in the middle, 76.8 decibels. A quick recap. We like that the filters are easy to access. They can all be rinsed in water and reused. We like that the tools store on board the vacuum, easy to access them when you're vacuuming. This suction release collar is handy if you find you want to lower the suction of the vacuum cleaner. We feel the unit is fairly solid and robust for a vacuum in this price range, at least when we compare it to other units we've reviewed in the price range. We like the lift away feature. It's really handy if you're going to do something like a set of stairs, maybe a vehicle interior, or some jobs that a handheld might do. The brush roll on off controls are nice. Sometimes you want that brush roll off if you're cleaning a hard surface. Um, our test in the low pile carpet with uh, small to medium sized debris showed that the unit 
uh, performed quite well, did a good job of picking things up, it did as good a job as some of the slightly more expensive shark uprights we tested against it, and we find the noise level is not too loud. It's not particularly quiet, but it's not too loud. So those are some of the things we really like about the Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe Model NV360. Now, there are some things about this vacuum that we don't like a whole lot. And you can see those in our video entitled, What We Dislike About the Shark Navigator Deluxe NV360. Thanks very much for watching.